You're going to need the following ingredients for this recipe. Right, the next ingredient and the main ingredient is partridge. Okay, what we call tita in India. Very common, uh, hugely common in this part of the world, not so common in India because it has got ban on it. The hunting has been banned, so tita is not allowed to be shoot, shot down. Uh, so, but in the UK, we don't have to worry about it because there are plenty of partridges and we can eat them, no problem. Now, one thing, when you buy it from your butcher, don't, if, if you're a hunter, then fine, you know how to treat it, but people like me, who don't like hunting, but like eating, buy it from the butcher, okay? And you have to buy it absolutely clean. The skin needs to go away, all the internal organs need to go away, the head and tail and everything needs to go away. It needs to come like chicken. Another thing, very important, it has got a huge gamey smell. Sometimes it could be off-putting, but actually, without that smell, it's not a game. So what we do, we apply ginger garlic paste and leave it aside for some time and that smell actually goes away. And then you get into your real cooking and then you get those mellow flavors from nuts and the cream and the yogurt. Yogurt, that's the main ingredient. That also is required. For that, you're going to use a wonderful yogurt and you need plenty of that, okay? So make sure you have a good tub at hand. There you go. You'll need good three, four tablespoons of this yogurt. And I think I've got plenty. That's enough. Now, let's start marinating our partridge, okay? So before I do that, what I want to do is apply ginger garlic paste to the partridge and leave it aside. Okay. I'll take ginger garlic paste. Generous amount. Okay. First and the foremost important ingredient is the paste we add in here. And that was, we had melon seeds, we had poppy seeds, and we had desiccated coconut. There's another thing which we add, it's called charoli nuts. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, but if you can get hold of it, that adds another dimension of flavor into this paste. Do get that. It's easy, easy to get from Asian shops or if you're in Asia, I'm not sure whether you can bring it over or not, but please do it legally, whatever you do. Now, the spices. Plenty of garam masala. I'll save some because it needs to go later in there as well. And I've got some nuts here. But before that, let's put in our yogurt. So once all this is ready, then I can leave the partridge marinated in this paste as well for a good half an hour before I start cooking. Fried onion paste. Now this gives thickening, taste, uh, the smoothness, everything, okay? That goes in, mix that in, and now a few powdered spices. Without that, this would be meaningless. And that is salt, always to taste. A Little bit of red chili powder as well, not too much. I'm looking for a neutral color here. That goes in. You'll get a lot of chilies which actually color the marinade, so you don't want that. So you just go for something which is more gentle and nicer. Now for color, I got beautiful saffron. That goes in. I got a few strands as well, in spite of adding the powder. My curious chef added some strands as well, which is not a bad thing, it's okay. Okay, now almonds, lots of it. And I got some pistachio here, which I want to chop it. Roughly, you don't need perfect chopping here. Just open a few faces, so the oil and the color and the flavor of the pistachio runs into the sauce. 
That does it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. That goes in. Have I forgotten anything? Very important thing, butter. Right, melt the butter. I'm not gonna apologize for the quantity of butter I'm gonna use. What do you expect? I'm a chef. And that to a Punjabi chef. Okay. I think I've got plenty of butter. I don't need more. I will add that. Yeah, beautiful. Now when this comes out, you will see a rich layer of fat on top of the casserole, but that's expected. And the best way to serve this, a lot of people would like to serve it with the rice, but I like bread. So I would go for a kulcha or a naan. Plain naan would be fantastic, okay? Now, what we do here is make sure all the juices come out. Partridge just go in. That goes away. Now, ideally, I should keep this marinated for a good half an hour. And in real world, I would. Now what I have here is a casserole that can go in the oven. You could use a metal one as well, beautiful metal ones, where you'll be able to seal it in a better way. Make sure partridges sit right at the bottom and pour in all the sauce. Old habits die hard, don't they? I'm so used to using my hand, but only with a glove. You can use Good old spatula. Okay, now, I told you, save some garam masala, that's extremely important. That goes on top. I'll put some more nuts in there. You could actually toast the nuts as well if you wish to. And that goes in. I'm so tempted to put a little bit of more butter but I'm going to resist. Now this dough, you could steal some of your dough from your mom's kitchen. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna use, you know my granddad was a baker and I do this so naturally, it's in my jeans. But trust me, when you try your hands, it'll be in your jeans too. It's not difficult, I'm only kidding. So you just stick that to the edges so that when the lid, when you put the lid on, I know, I know, don't do it on me. Yeah, perfect. Wherever you feel is a little thinner, stick a bit more. And the lid goes on top and it seals it perfectly. Bingo, one down. Two to go, 170 degrees centigrade, good 45 minutes, okay? All right, so after a good 45 minutes, I think my partridges are absolutely ready. Time to plate up. Wow, looks interesting. Interesting, good interesting. So, need a knife. The dough always gets a little hard. This bit can be tricky, so make sure you hold it really well. Otherwise, it can get a little messy. Oh, the smell is beautiful. What can I say? Other than telling you I'm a great cook. Okay, here we go. So. The partridges are absolutely ready. So before I take it out, look at that. It's really delicious, very tempting. Make sure you baste it really well because some parts of the partridge sits above the sauce and gets a little dry, but that's part of the game, it's fine. But look at the gravy, it's absolutely smooth. In spite of all the nuts and onion paste being added. So let's go and plate it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's it, one bird per person is actually a good potion. Okay, but if you're a greedy person like me, then you need two birds per person. But I'll, I'll say stick to one, it's more than enough. And the way to serve it is just lay it in it with the sauce. You can serve it right in this casserole itself. Ah, I think it's good. Clean this up. You can serve this with a good quality or quality baked naan or even kulcha as I said. And these are just micro herbs which can be just poured around it. Just garnished with that. Now this is the best bit, okay? Which I love after cooking is I'm allowed to taste it. I want to say Merry Christmas and I wish you could join me, but I'm sure you can make your, make your own and enjoy it. Time that I tell you how to go on and make this. I took two partridges, they were peeled, cleaned, ready made, ready prepared from the butchers. First, ginger garlic paste and a little bit of salt. Leave it aside for a good 15-20 minutes and then we had paste made with melon seeds poppy seeds and desiccated coconut. All three were lightly toasted and made into a really thick paste. You had some yogurt as well. And then a garam masala, which was made with clove, black cardamom, cinnamon, mace. All these things were toasted and made into a really dark colored spice powder. And we also had some onion paste, a saffron, which was toasted, made into a powder and infused with more saffron strands into a little bit of lukewarm milk. And we mixed everything together, put that in a casserole with the partridges, sealed it with the dough, and in it goes in the oven at 170 or 180 degrees and cook it for good 45 minutes. And then it comes out and garnish it with chopped coriander, which I had, which I decided not to put in, but I had beautiful cress, which I garnished it with and serve it with naan or kulcha.